Hello, today we are going to be finding the volume and the surface area of a right rectangular prism. So what is a right rectangular prism? A right rectangular prism is a lot like a cube. In fact, a cube is also a right rectangular prism. A right rectangular prism is basically any box that is formed by six rectangles. Unlike the cube, which had to be six congruent squares, a rectangular prism can be any size rectangles. However, the front and back of the rectangle will be congruent, the left and right will be congruent, and the top and bottom will be congruent, just by definition. The prism is categorized by the base. Now, in a right rectangular prism, really you could say any side is the base, but you always think of the base as whichever one is down. So here, we're going to use this side to be our base. And I could redraw this rectangle over here if I want to, just so I can find the area of the base side. So the base of my prism, the rectangle that creates the base, has a width of 3 and a length of 5 for a total area of 15 square inches. Just like with the cube, I'm going to multiply the area of my base times the height of my right rectangular prism to get the volume of the entire prism. So the volume here is going to be 15 times 9. So the total volume of my right rectangular prism then is 135 cubic inches. Please make sure you have the formula written down as the volume of our right rectangular prisms is the base times the length times the height. So now we're going to find the surface area of this right rectangular prism. Remember the surface area is the area of each two-dimensional side so we would need the area of the bottom side, each one of the side sides, the top side, this side, and then this guy over here. And really the easiest way to do that is going to be to create a net. And it's not my favorite thing to do, but we are going to do it together. Now you need to just start with a side. It doesn't really matter which side you're going to start with. I'm going to start with my base, just because I like to. I'm going to draw that guy over here. I like to uh, go ahead and write my side lengths in, so I know that this guy is 3 and this one over here is 5. Now, from my base, I can go ahead and do the left and right side. That is going to be attached to that. So, we will extend this guy. It's apparently not going to be drawn to scale. And the left and right side has, again, uh, this side is still 3, and now this guy is 9. This guy here is 3, and this one is 9. And now I need my top side, which I will just extend over here. Now here this is 3, and this guy is 5. So I have all the way around taken care of, so now I just need the flat side here and here. And so it doesn't really matter where I have those coming out of. Um, I just have them coming out for my base. Oops, I didn't really leave myself enough room down here, did I? Yeah, we'll just call that good. So here I know that these sides are still 5, and this one is 9. This one is 5, and this one is 9. Now your surface area, you just need to find the area of each one of your sides. And remember, because these are all rectangles, they might not look like rectangles in my drawing, but they're rectangles. Because they're all rectangles, it's going to be base times height for each one of those rectangles. When you have your net, you should always have uh, three sets of identical rectangles. So notice that this set uh, here, those two are identical. This one and this one are identical. This one and this one are identical. And again, I understand that my drawing is a little ugly here. So now that we have each one of our areas, we can go ahead and add those together.
and I get a surface area of 174 inches squared. Because we're talking about just the two-dimensional area, my answer must be in square inches, not cubed, because I'm not talking about what goes inside, I'm talking about just what is on the outside, my surface area. All right, Mrs. K is already always showing off her dog because it does tricks, so here's my dog's trick. Ready? Zelly, be cute. Good job. Good girl.